In today's video, I'm going to show you why Slash Compact is finished. You no longer need to worry about Slash Compact in Claude code, and I'm going to explain to you exactly why. Now, if you don't know previously, when you were coding along with Claude code, what it would basically do is you'd have a conversation with it. So let's just say, like, create me a basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript home page as an example. Right. So what it will do is now it will create a quick HTML, CSS and JavaScript homepage. But you can see that we are currently using tokens. You can see 500 to 1000 tokens. So we've already used 0.5% of our memory, right, which might not seem like a big problem. But imagine that instead of just creating a very simple HTML, CSS and JavaScript website, instead, you're going to create something a little bit more complicated. How do you get around this problem? Well, actually, what you do is you use subagents, but not the subagents that I've been talking about in the last couple of videos. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to be using subagents that come with Claude code that you have inside your Claude code right here, right now. Let's get into it. So using this example, right, we've probably just used, I don't actually know how to check how many tokens we've used. I think we can exit out, right? If I exit, no. I don't actually know how to check how many tokens, but let's say we use 2000 tokens, right? 1% of our conversation limit. How can we do the same thing that we just did here without using any of our limit? What you can do is you can actually copy what we said before. I'm going to cancel out, right? Let's do CD dot dot and we'll do MKD for a new one. So Claude commands, that's just the first thing that came into my head. CD into that file slash folder. And then I'm going to write Claude. Sorry, that was just the gemstone crab. Don't don't ask about that. Um, and I'm going to say the same thing, but this time I'm going to say use a sub agent. Tell the sub agent not to report back, but to just do the job, and then press enter. So let's see what happens this time. What's going to happen? The exact same process is going to take place, but instead of using Claude's two hundred thousand or this particular Claude's conversation. 200,000 context window. Instead, what it's going to do is it's going to create a sub agent and use that sub agent's 200,000 context window. Now, that might not seem like a big deal, but just picture it like this. Let's say previously you could successfully get eight tasks done inside Claude code towards your SAS, right? Okay, that's amazing. So that's eight with the same memory. But now imagine if you could do a thousand in the same memory where you never have to run slash compact, right? That is now possible with this system. The reason it's possible specifically is this part here. Use a sub agent, tell the set sub agent not to report back, but to just do the job. If I do control O, we might be able to see the prompt here. Perfect. Create a basic homepage with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This should be simple, clean example that demonstrates basic web development concepts, blah, blah, blah. Important, just create the files directly. Do not report or summarize at the end. Simply create the home page, files, and exit. So you can see here, this should now be done. Yep, perfect. So we can see that the total amount of tokens used are these tokens here and these tokens here and nothing else. Literally nothing else. Now, it hasn't reported back. The reason I told it not to report back is because I'm working on this theory. I don't know what to call it, but I guess it's like tiny, tiny bit by bit building, right? So you, you get an agent to implement Superbase. You get an agent to create the schema. You get an agent to, I don't know, create the first bit of the homepage. You get an agent to create the dashboard. You get an agent to, you know, implement OAuth. You get an agent to implement username, password, whatever. All the way to having a complete project within one single 200,000 context window, meaning that Claude never once loses its context, right? So imagine you do this at the very beginning of the project. You fill in a Claude.md stating that you want this task done, right? You're creating a SAS, you need all these tasks done. And then instead of every time you run slash compact, you run the risk of losing context, you just use the same context window for the entire project by just bit by bit, piece by piece, creating the entire project. Now, if you tell it not to report back to you, what it normally does, these sub agents, they'll report back to the main 200,000 context window with a giant .md file. 
If you do that every time, what's going to happen? You're going to use up your 200,000 context window, which is what we are trying to avoid. And you might say, hey, Mitch, how do you know that this isn't this agent here isn't using contact? Yesterday, I was on 3% context for three hours coding with sub agents because I didn't want to lose the context of what I was working on because Claude was trying really, really hard to pinpoint a problem that it was having with the code. So I used the same 3% context for three hours, right? Which if you, if you know Claude code and you don't know about what I'm telling you now, this is massive. It's an absolutely massive change. You no longer have to worry about slash compact, right? And instead you can build entire projects piece by piece like this all the way to full project within one 200,000 context window. Now, it can be quite hard to explain these things with words. So what I've done is inside my school community, inside the Vibe Coding with Claude Code, I actually have put this little section about sub-agents. You can read this now. You can pause it and read this. If you do want to support me, though, guys, please consider joining the school community. It allows me to work on things like we're talking about right here, right now. So look, guys, I'm really trying to just get across how good sub-agents actually are. This is not the only use case. There are there are so many use cases. Uh, just another quick example. I'm not going to show you everything. The entire time that I have been talking, making this video, I've had sub agents creating content for a client, right? So look, you can see. Look at this. Insane content, like created while I've been talking. Sub agents have just been from from a less than 100 word prompt as well. Has created all of these articles. Uh, asynchronously as well. I don't know how to pronounce that. Either. Asynchronously, as in it's been doing it the entire time and it's doing them all at the same time, right? You can see, absolutely insane. Sorry about the RuneScape guys. Just uh, yeah. So yeah, this is what I've been working on recently. This foundational building, where instead of spending an entire two hundred thousand context window setting up your database. You take a sub agent and you say, set me up a local database with the super base CLI and then store the variables you need inside a dot M. Oh, sorry. Use a sub agent. So watch it, it will now pop up a sub agent. So I'll use up, I'll use a sub agent to set up a local super base database and configure the dot M file. Bang. Okay, so now it's just going to do exactly that. And we can watch it if we want. Set up a local Superbase database using the Superbase CLI and store all necessary variables in a .m file. Just do the setup, simply set up database and then exit. So let's say yes here. Then it starts to set up the database. And now we have a database without wasting 50,000, 10,000, whatever of our tokens just to fucking set up a database, right? Massive difference, huge difference in what we were doing before, what I was doing before. I'm, I'm sure not everyone was doing this, but what I was doing before compared to what I'm doing now. The difference is honestly stark. It's night and day. This feels like a whole new system that I've discovered, not not me, myself. I'm, I'm not saying I discovered this. I didn't, I'm not saying I invented this. I'm sure people have been doing this since subagents were released. I just didn't understand that you could do this until very, very recently. And I'm super happy that I found out. Shout out to everyone that repeatedly told me to check out sub agents and didn't give up on me when I kept saying that they were useless. They're not useless. They're so useful. It's absolutely insane. So yeah, I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you are watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. Please feel free to check out the school community if you want to support me. And I will see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.